Um, so, uh, Andy, we sort of alluded to this in the tease. Um, you don't agree uh, with one Tom E. Kern or myself uh, that Bill Belichick is in this for the long haul. Why do you think it's going to be a shorter tenure than, say, 2025 or 2026 for Bill Belichick? Well, I think I'm taking a Belichickian approach to this kind of the way Belichick did when he drafted Jimmy Garoppolo. Bill's getting old and not football old, real world old, right? <laughs> Five years down the road for a 75 year old is a significant period of time. And I'm, I don't want to make light of this. I would wish no ill will or poor health on Bill Belichick, but I think a five-year plan at his age is probably a little bit optimistic. And, you know, I think the one thing that I would look for as like this timeline, I know we have the Shula thing dangling, Trenny, you fixated on that. And I think that's appropriate. I think Bill does care about that and his legacy and all of that. But to me, the line of demarcation could be more in Tom's area, the, the development of Mac Jones. When does that take off? Is he leaving? Even if he doesn't win a Super Bowl, which we all think is difficult to do, is he leaving the team better off than, you know, it looked like it was a year ago? Is he, is that guy ready to sign another contract? Are you getting past a rookie contract with Mac Jones? But to me, five-year plans at the age of 70 are, are a bit much. Very well, aggressive. you don't know cool 70 year olds, by the way, that Andy, sorry, Tom, didn't mean to. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I mean, we, we just had two guys who are practically octogenarians run to, for president to lead the country, not saying that's a recommended practice <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. However, uh, Bill is a spry chicken relative to those guys. He's a spry chicken relative to, to be honest, me. I mean, he gets up on those 830 conference calls and he does the six o'clock WEI calls after the game ends at two in the morning. He's, he's out of his mind. But I will say this, Trent, to say five or six, I probably shouldn't have said that. 2022, I can see, I can see, I hate to be early on this, it's January, I could see a small Patriots regression. And then 2023 and 24, I can see them really starting to have their arrow point up. And I think Bill wants to be around for that. Do you think they get there, uh, Andy Hart, to the, to the progression that Curran is talking about with Bill Belichick as the head coach? I think that's a big question right now. And uh, I've been labeled negative or reactionary, whatever. I happen to think this was the worst coaching job of Bill Belichick's career in New England. When you take the sum of everything this team did and look at the details, the minutia, and it's not about 10 wins, it's about everything that went into those wins. And I just saw more mistakes than I've ever seen in all three phases. We had the not getting the right number of people on the field early in the year, delay of game type penalties late in the year for the offense. We know all the special teams issues that went into it. And I'd even get back to the way they started games, opening drives on offense and defense, opening drives of third quarter offense and defense. I didn't love the coaching this year. And that could be a one-off. It could be part of his um, staff and a young staff. And I know, Tom, you've written some things. Maybe there were too many voices on the defensive side of the ball. Whatever the reasons are, I thought the end result was not a great coaching job by the entire football team. If that continues moving forward, then I think we say, well, two years in a row at mm -hmm. the ages of 69 and 70, has he lost a little something? Is it time to go to the DMV and recheck the, uh, the old driver's license? Even if he was 43 and the team played down the stretch as it did, and at the beginning and ends of games as it did, and had some of the breakdowns statistically against the Bills or the Tennessee Titans running for 270 or the Dallas Cowboys putting up 600. Yeah, there's, there's a million instances, and you lay it out. And no one can objectively look at the performance of the 2021 Patriots from the beginning of the year to the very end and say, this was an A-plus job. The Patriots were on their details. I think a lot of it does have to do with the coaching staff, the youth of it, and the size of it. It's always been best for Bill Trini to have a smaller staff that he could bring up in his own little hothouse and develop in the way they wanted to. But it becomes more and more on him. And even if Josh McDaniels does end up going someplace else or Gerard Mayo, it, it makes it even harder and puts more on him. But I still think that I don't age isn't just a number, but he's not your conventional 70 year old.
No, and the one thing I will say in, in, in defense of Andy's argument is the last couple of years, I think we've all looked at from afar and said, huh, that's interesting. You know, there's, uh, there's senior bowls and all these things going around, and Bill Belichick's not there. He's on a boat in the Caribbean. And, hey, when you're at his place in his career, you're allowed to take more time off. You're allowed to be away from the team. But I do wonder if at some point – uh, he looks at it and says, you know what? The grind isn't worth it anymore. I'm not loving it as much. I'd rather just retire. All right, meanwhile, what is Bill, mm. but Bill, Bill Belichick's biggest motivation for coaching into his 70s? Could it be to prove that he can win a Super Bowl without Tom Brady? Or perhaps, as I alluded to earlier, it's to beat Don Shula's record for most career wins. The legendary Dolphins coach uh, had 328 regular season career wins. Belichick is third all-time. He needs 38 to tie, 39 wins to surpass. We got Tommy Giles and Phil Perry here now with me. Guys, I did the math for you. Uh, for four years, he'd have to average 9.5 wins per season to tie Don Shula. So that's why I sort of picked that four to five year window. But Phil, when you look at his biggest motivating factor for staying in this, is it the history and the numbers? He's a historian of this game. Or is it something, I mean, I don't want to say petty, but a little more personal, which is, I will show you I can win without Tom Brady. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't think that we can sit here and say for sure that, you know, legacy for Bill Belichick doesn't factor into this. But I think Bill Belichick's most significant motivating factor is this is his life. This is what he knows. He is 70 years old. As Tom mentioned, this has been a part of his family and what he has done on a daily basis for his entire life. And I think as long as this is continuing to provide him fulfillment, whether that is the challenge post Tom Brady, whether that is the yearly challenge of putting together a competitive team, whether you've got a young quarterback or not, I'm not sure this is tied to Mac Jones's timeline because who knows what Mac Jones is going to be. Bill Belichick has a better idea than the rest of us, but he can't be sure right now either. This is about him, Giles, and to me, as long as he's getting something out of this, we should mention he's still coaching with his sons, something that he has mentioned many times he really enjoys. He missed a lot of time with his sons for years. So that's a factor too. I think as long as he's still feeling that way and he still has his health and he's still energetic as he goes about this, which he is and he has been, why not keep going? So, to me, when you bring this up, Trenton, you bring up the Don Shula record. If Bill Belichick coaches four to five more years, yeah, he's, he's probably going to surpass that. And you know what? He's probably going to do that with uh, some pretty good seasons. But the goal at the beginning of every season is to win a Super Bowl for Bill Belichick. It always is. And he's human. As much as we look at him and say, well, it's Bill's just he, – he's not like the rest of us. He, he doesn't just care about these championships or the petty stuff or, you know, proving that he can win a Super Bowl without Tom Brady. He is human. He hears it. He has to be at least somewhat motivated to prove, yeah, I'm going to go out there. I found the next guy, and I'm going to win a Super Bowl with him. All right, I'm going to go off the literal uh, rundown grid here for a second and away from the topics that are in front of me because – Phil, you and Tom both said something that, you know, he's out there because he loves this. This is who he is from the time he was five years old, Bill Belichick. He is a football guy. But as Andy Hart pointed out, last year wasn't his best performance. Uh, he has struggled in recent years sometimes when it comes to drafting and talent evaluation. Giles, when he does leave the game, does he leave on his own terms? Or does it come to a point where he doesn't, he's not the same guy anymore and the Patriots have to part ways with him. I mean, when I picture it, I picture him moving away on his own terms and then going on kind of like a just a football journey, just going from school to school or team to team. And, you know, the, that video that you see of him and Nick Saban at Alabama just standing around talking, I kind of see that, you know, him going down to Annapolis, maybe talking with the Navy team. That That's kind of how I picture it for Bill Belichick, but it still feels to me like it is a, a long ways away. He's He doesn't feel like he's ready to do that in the next year or two. Yeah, I remember asking him about life after football. This was years ago. I don't even remember what Super Bowl it was, but it feels like it was about a decade ago, so probably not a great question to ask the guy who <laughs> continued to coach for another 10 years. But he has talked to us before about the rhythm of not just the season, but the entire year and how he could pick a spot on the calendar no matter what month you flip to, no matter what day you point to, and he could tell you where he's probably going to be because the entire NFL season has that kind of rhythm. And I asked him if he would miss that, and he didn't get into it at the time, but I think he would, Trini. And so as long as he's still capable and as long as he's still performing – the way he feels like he can, I don't know why he would choose to step away from that. So what you guys are both saying is that if he isn't performing to the level, they may have to force him out. 
No, that's not, that's not at all what I said. <laughs> but I, that but was said, the question I you? asked, and you both well, a did a lovely tango you. around it, though. You, neither of you. No, I think Robert Kraft is, is probably going to be willing to give Bill Belichick several more years, several plus. Okay. The benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt.